Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video, I really do appreciate it. But before we get into the main meat and potatoes of this video, which is the interview, I want to just simply thank everyone for clicking on this video. This video has taken a little bit of time to create, but also the fact that I want to give a bit of an explanation as to why I'm creating this series. This series is based on talking to different creatives and people who have somewhat success in the endeavors that they're doing. And success comes in all shapes and forms, obviously. I want to figure out what makes them tick. What are the little things and the big things that they do in order to create the content that they create? Why do they do it? How do they do it? What have they learned? And what would they give in terms of tips and tricks to anyone who's not at their level as of yet? I believe learning from other people and other creatives, especially those that have had somewhat better successful rates than me, gives you the opportunity to be more efficient, be more productive, to be more efficient at what you do. And I think there's a lot that can be learned from other people, especially from different perspectives. So with that being said, I just want to introduce Victor or Noble Addiction. He has had multiple different channels, all oh, well over the, the thousand mark in terms of subscribers, as well as videos that have gotten tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of views. Now, I'm not saying that as a way of to hype up an ego for him or anything like that. It's just, I want to get it across to people who have been trying to figure out how to do that. And I want him to answer the hard questions. And he speaks a lot of truth in this video. So if you're after it just for views and fames and stuff, he'll, uh, he'll set you straight. He'll set you straight. He's very well spoken. Very specifically, we met about six or seven years ago. It's a very, very long time. We met on a Facebook group back when I was posting on one of my very first channels. Around that time, he was hosting this Facebook group and I started helping out and, you know, helping with the, the video series on that channel to try and bring other creators together to create a community. It didn't really work out and then he left, then I took over and then I figured out it didn't really work either. So I left and we shut it down. But we've been in contact over the years and helped each other out on various occasions. And he was, without a doubt, one of the very first people that came to mind whenever I wanted to start doing interviews and podcasts. So hopefully you enjoy the podcast slash interview style thing. Hopefully you get some knowledge out from it. And if you could, go follow him, see what he's up to. And if you enjoy what he does, then subscribe to him. But for now, I'm going to end this little intro style production and let you go to the interview. Again, thanks for watching and enjoy. So just to get right off the bat, tell me about your channel, tell me about you, and we'll go from there. Jeez, okay. Uh, let me start off with myself. What is up? <laughs> I, I automatically go into like the way that my videos start. That's so weird. Um, so for, for anybody that doesn't know me, uh, my name is Victor, which not a lot of people know, but um, I go by Noble. Uh, my channel is Noble Addiction, and uh, I've had it for, I think I started it January 2nd, or maybe it was February 2nd, 2017. That's this channel. And uh, I I focus a lot on gaming videos. I absolutely love gaming um, with the way that my life is structured right now. Gaming just takes a lot of the stress away. It, it feels really good to come home and just blow stuff up for a while and not really have to think. So that's <laughs> kind of what I use it for. But um, I put videos up of gaming, a uh, whole lot of the brand new games, but I really do like supporting indie games as well. And uh, I make tutorial videos trying to help anybody that wants to get started with their own channel or their own live streams and uh, just try to help out as many people as I can. That's basically the gist of my channel. Yeah, no, that, that totally makes sense. And from what I've seen, that does seem to be... I've just seen so many tutorials from you and so many different uh, like tech things and new equipment and all that kind of stuff. Well, what, what drives you to make content? Like, why, why do you make videos on YouTube? Or on other platforms as well? Because I've seen you do a whole lot of different platforms like Mixer and... and uh, Twitch and Facebook. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> To be honest with you, I I will give you the most honest answer. Uh, I started making videos on my very first channel, which was a couple of years ago, uh, four or five years ago. 
uh, I started making channels because I had that same mentality w from like way back in the day that many gamers have. That's like, if I make videos, I might get paid. Or like, if I make videos, people will give me free <laughs> games and I didn't want to have to pay for anything. So that's why essentially I started. But what it's become now is, uh, is again, like a way uh, for me to kind of push myself forward. Um, it is one of the only things that I've ever stuck with throughout my entire life. Like, uh, I, I feel like my mind is always going a thousand miles a minute and I've tried to work on certain projects, but always lose interest about halfway through. Whenever I started my YouTube channel, um, this is something that, that keeps me engaged because I have to come up with my own content. I have to record and edit my own content. I have to make sure that the finished product is good. And then not only that, you have to promote everything on your own. So it's, it's just something that always keeps my mind working. But if I want to make a video tomorrow about a banana for some stupid reason, and then the following day, I want to make a video about the latest game that's coming out. I can do that on this channel. So it kind of takes all the dumb ideas that are in my head literally every day and I can do something with those ideas. So that's kind of what drives me now. Um, of course, I am trying to get more specialized, more more uh, honed in on the gaming side of things, again, because I've been a gamer all of my life. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's something that I'm going to do the, the rest of my life, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to be one of the first generation of old people that, goes into a nursing home or like retirement home and is playing like the PS12 or whatever it is whenever that happens. So, um PSX. Yeah, yeah, PSX, the <laughs> the, the 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 PlayStation Box Switch 12 or whatever it's going to be called. So, um what drives me to do it is just uh I think more than anything the creativity and the fact that uh if you guys really want to, like you can do anything. There is a audience for any topic that you might be into. There's an audience out there. It's just making the content, uh, trying to settle yourself down and actually pushing that stuff out without having to be afraid of what people think. And then allowing that same audience that feels the same way that you do to come and find you. And I think that's what I'm trying to do right now. Although I'm, I don't know. I've been doing it for a long time but I still don't feel like I have found my, my voice yet. And that's what I'm trying to search for right now. Mm. No, I definitely agree with you there, especially with the, the thousand, thousand things going at the same uh, time. Uh, a, f a friend of mine who was telling you about Tim, uh, he actually said something to me about a year or two ago. And he said, it almost feels like there's, it's like you're driving down a highway. There's like a thousand different lanes and cars are flying by at every different direction. Yep. And I do feel like that's a bit of a universal, especially for creatives, uh, especially considering the fact that there's so many different ideas or subsets of ideas in a single project. And typically, if like we were in a different kind of job or something, we wouldn't have the same kind of process towards it. Right. And see, I think that's what what makes this so much more enjoyable for me is that like we all do have jobs that we have to do or if for um, for kids, like if you guys are younger, for example, mm -hmm. you have to go to school. Like that's not really an option. Or like if you're an adult, you have to go to work and you have a set structure of what you have to do every day. And a whole lot of the time, it's the same thing. Like I have been working my butt off all week and it's the same monotonous thing that you just repeat. You rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. You wake up, you go to work, you come home. You wake up, you go to work, you come home. And Whenever you're doing something like this, you can do anything that you want. It doesn't have to be the same thing every day. And that's what I love about it, I think. Yeah, no, that that's, you know, like the reason you said you started YouTube, that was basically me as well. Because during my high school, like what you would call high school, yeah, my my leaving cert, while I was do doing exams, people are like, oh, I'm going to go off to college. I'm going to have to do this. And I'm like, I'm going to make gaming videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to get paid and I'm going to be famous and I'm going to be the next PewDiePie. Or the next Markiplier and yeah. some stuff like that. Yeah, no, that, that was that was basically me. <laughs> and now here I am doing interviews. <laughs> but there there definitely is a progression and a different... Because I'm, I'm, I'm guessing whenever you started, like, and we'll get this into this uh, in, the, in the next question, but whenever you started, it wasn't all just... 
it was all just oh i'm gonna play video games and now you're doing like tech reviews and right um and you know now you're doing all these different types of videos and stuff like that as well and all those videos like whenever anybody starts like they are the worst videos i (laughs) i am i'm sad actually but i'm also kind of glad that the channels that i had before do not exist because uh (laughs) those videos were so cringy uh way back in the day um, for any of you guys that are gamers out there, do you remember the 360 whenever they came out with the, uh, what was that camera thing called? The uh, Kinect, right? Uh, you know, yes, it was, the, it was the, the Kinect. But before that, the PlayStation had its uh, I, iBot or something. Right, right, right. I-toy? Right, but um, specifically on the Xbox 360, whenever they had the Kinect, they had this one program where you could take your avatars and... If you stood in front of your connect and moved your arms and opened your mouth and closed your mouth, the avatar would do the same thing that you would do. Well, yes. on my very first channel, uh, I didn't want to be on camera because I've always been a shy person. I stutter. I don't know how to speak very well or anything like that. So I recorded my avatar instead and I would make these these cringy, cringy shows about what, what was going on in video game news using that program. And it was the absolute worst thing in the world. I'm so glad that those videos don't exist anymore. But that's the way my first channel started. And it's just the most embarrassing, horrible thing I can think about nowadays. <laughs> my, my first channel, it's all private <laughs> <laughs> well i mean like at least you still have your first channel though like i oh yeah no I, I i think it's very very important to have your original videos because i think it's especially to look back even like a year ago it's, it's very important to look back at the how much you progressed and yeah you know no. yeah <laughs> i didn't know you could make videos out of that <laughs> yeah they were bad man very very was, bad. was there a viewership for it? like were there many people watching that Oh, no. Like, whenever you first get started, nobody knows who you are. Nobody cares who you are. And then (laughs) if you're putting out videos like I was at that time, uh, people might click on it just out of curiosity. But after they hear you Mm. uh, trying to fumble your own words, like, they'll jump off within the first five or ten seconds. So, I don't know. Like, it wasn't the best thing in the world. But I got better after that. Or I like to think (laughs) I got better. Well. I, I would assume that you do that you did get better because <laughs> because I, I mean how many years ago was that <laughs> uh geez that was probably like five years ago i think no it had to be longer than that because the xbox one has been out for longer than that i don't know it was a while back so yeah hopefully i've gotten yeah. a lot better now well, I mean, I, I would i would hope so considering the fact that you're able to gain such an audience now <laughs> yeah <clears throat> Well, speaking of which, like talking about the old days and all that, why don't you tell us about how many other channels that you've had, why you stopped them, and why you chose to stick with the one that you're using right now? Okay, so let me see if I can do this. The very first channel that I had, I don't even know what it was called. It was probably something games. And uh, I, I'm i pretty sure I, I got that one up to like a, a few hundred. It was probably like between five and eight hundred subs and uh i i began that channel again because i didn't want to have to pay for games if i play video games people are going to notice me and they're going to send me all the free stuff so that's why i started that channel and uh after i learned like how to actually record properly and oh my god the software that i was using i was using a microphone that was built into my laptop so you know it sounded great (laughs) um i was using uh I think they're called uh, Dazzle, I think, was the recording capture card that I used. It was like a $25 card, so it was yeah. really, really bad. Uh, I believe it might have pushed out 720p video at best, and uh, I just had all the basics because I didn't have a lot of money at the time. I mean, I don't have a lot of money now, but I didn't have <laughs> as much money to blow on stuff like that to begin with. So um, I had that channel, and once I realized, like, I actually want to try to stick with this, um, I think it might be part of my, like, OCD. Um, I decided, hey, I need to make a better channel. We need to to go ahead and do better than what we're doing now, so I'm just going to get rid of all that stuff. Because as it is right now on the channel that I've got, I look at my videos in the video side of of, of the YouTube channel, and 
if it's not in a playlist, I have the worst urge to delete videos because right? they have to be organized. And if they're not organized, I see them out of place and it doesn't make sense for me to be, it doesn't make sense for me to have those videos there. So I'm constantly always fighting, like I need to delete these videos when I know that if I do that, I'm going to lose the views for those videos. I'm going to lose the revenue for those videos. Not that uh, the money is important or anything like that, but it does help out. And mm-hmm. so, so uh, on that first channel, I was like, I think I could actually do this. So I decided to start brand new and I got rid of that channel. I have no idea what it was called. Um, I had another channel. Uh, I believe it was called the bleeding pixel. And, uh, I got that one over a thousand subscribers. That was not all that bad. The issue came in when uh, I had a few friends that said, oh yeah, what you're doing is really cool. Let us help you out. And I'm like, yeah, that would be really cool. We could start our own website. We could do this and this and that. And Mm -hmm. what often- I see where this is going. (laughs) Yeah, so what often happens is that people don't know how much work and time goes into this. Like I spend- every free minute that I have working on the few videos that I put out. So Mm -hmm. at at that time they didn't realize it, but I thought it would be a good idea. Like it'll be really cool to have a team that can all work together and we can all work on this channel. Well, they wanted to kind of take my channel in a different direction, which is not the way my channels work. That's not what I had envisioned for it. So we ended up, uh, I had already had that channel or, a little bit over a thousand subs and uh, they wanted to change things around. So of course things got heated. We got into an argument and just everybody just decided to leave like, okay, so we're not going to do this with you anymore. We're going to start our own thing. And so that just kind of made everything fall apart and that channel ended as well. Now the third channel, uh, which is the channel that I had before this one was called digital addiction. And Mm -hmm. that's uh, where we first met each other with that channel. Yes. And that's the channel that I originally got partnered with freedom, um, which way back then, like it was a easier thing to do. Like you basically had to be like, Hey, I make stuff, give me uh, the money that I earn. And then you can take some there. For those of you that don't know, freedom is an MCN. So it's a multi-channel network and uh, Mm -hmm. they take a cut of the revenue that you make and they provide you with the same crap that everybody does. Oh, you can get free overlays or all this other crap, which essentially anybody can make on their own, but it just seems like a perk whenever they're offering it to you. So mm-hmm. um, I I think I was able to get that one a little over 3,000 subscribers. And uh, I, I think it was about 4,000 actually whenever you, it, it was just about reaching the 4,000 mark because I remember and then you're like, oh, I'm changing this. Right, right, right. Okay, so then it was around 4,000. And uh, at the time, the only reason that I joined an MCN, again, because the way that I work, I just want to know the way everything works. And I had never been a part of an MCN. So I wanted to be part of one for a year and then move over to another one just to see what the differences between MCNs are so that I can Mm -hmm. be able to better explain to people how an MCN might be different from another MCN. So... um, I was with freedom for maybe a year and a half, I think. And after uh, the year came up, the good thing about freedom was that they didn't have any contracts. So I didn't have to stay with them if I didn't want to. So um, I stayed with them for a year and then I decided to join this other MCN that I thought was more popular and actually was more popular, but, um, and I'm not going to mention names because of the way things ended up and stuff. I don't want to be a dick or anything like that, but Mm -hmm. I, I joined that other freedom okay i got screwed up there i joined that other mcn and and i left freedom um and uh what ended up happening was that they had said they would give me a certain cut i was supposed to make a 90 percent of what i made and they would only take 10 percent, and i would still get all the benefits so i'm like yeah let's go ahead and try this out i signed a contract with them because i I already knew that some places had contracts, some places didn't, but I wanted to have that experience just so that I could be able to talk more clearly about Mm -hmm. it and have the information on it. So I signed that contract. And after I signed that contract, about uh, four or five months later, they said, hey, so we're going to take that 90% that we had promised you and we're going to drop it down to 60. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. (laughs) What? Let's not do that. But of course, they had a contract so they could do whatever they wanted. 
and I'm not really one to be screwed around with. Like I, I don't hold grudges, but I will make things work my way and I'll make people see things from my perspective. So, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they took my 90%, they cut it down to 60 and I'm like, this is not right. Uh, this is not going to happen and you're not going to take way more than what you deserve for all the work that I'm doing. So the only way that I could have gotten out of that contract was to either get the contract back, which is not ever going to be possible or to just close down that channel. So I'm like, you know what? I did this on my own. The money does not matter to me. Like if I was doing anything for the money, I would have a more extravagant actual job but i do this because i actually like it now again the money does help but um it's it's not ever been about the money it's been about the principle like whenever you say you're going to do something you sign a contract you can't just change that and and be like well you did sign a contract so um i closed that channel down just because i didn't want to allow them to take advantage of me in that way so uh and yeah, that was really sad. That was uh, the time uh, when things were getting really bad. And uh, for those of you that have been a part of my channel, or for those of you that know me, we were actually going through a a time whenever we were pretty much homeless and stuff like that. So that was around that time. And mm-hmm. around that time, um, I got rid of everything. I got rid of my furniture and everything just so that we could make sure that like, hey, we have a little bit of money. Let's find somewhere to go. But also at that time, I never got rid of my computer and I never got rid of my systems because I knew I was just going to spend the money on them again because that's the one thing that I love to do. So uh, I started a brand new channel and that channel is Noble Addiction. That's what you guys see today. And uh, so far we have gotten over, I think we're a little bit over 5,000 or a little bit over 6,000 right now. And uh, I think it's on 6,000. Yeah. Okay. Um, So we're like... a little bit over 6,000 subscribers right now. And uh, again, it's just me doing what I love. I, I've always had gaming to come back to whenever I was in school and whenever I was getting picked on because I stuttered or or whenever I would get into fights or today, like whenever I go to work and I'm just exhausted and I come home, I come back to gaming because it's what relaxes me. And so that's what this channel is about. And I do my best to have fun with it. Like I... I don't take myself too seriously or anything like that, but I try to give people information and that is so hard nowadays. People have Mm -hmm. the attention span of a gnat and (laughs) and it's so difficult because I want to give people information so that they know what products they're buying, what uh, the the type of game is, what type of game it is that they're going to pick up, what type of game it is that they're spending their hard earned money on. But people don't want that. People want like montages and and people screaming it it their tv and colored hair and stuff like that and i don't have hair like i shave my head so i can't even color my hair even if i wanted to but what i do try to do you say all that knowing what i was like like oh (laughs) i i do remember that but it looks good on you like i i've let my hair try to grow out and it just doesn't look good so i just shave my head so i couldn't even do that even if i wanted to but what i try to do now is a I try to have fun, of course, with all the video games that are coming out. There's brand new tech, guys. The brand new systems are coming out in 2020, son. We got, we're got we almost ready for a new Xbox. We're almost ready for a new PlayStation. So all that's very exciting. But I also do my best to provide information for anybody that wants to go ahead and start their own channel and just try to get them started on what you can do on the YouTube side of things. I also do things for Twitch and Mixer. And I really need to get back into Facebook, but there is a... Uh, there is essentially a brand new YouTube on Facebook now. Now, I don't know how popular it is. The people that are on there obviously already have all the numbers. So there are some big people on there as well. But there is a YouTube streaming mm-hmm. side of... No, there is a Facebook streaming side that you can go ahead and to get yeah. into the gaming side with as well. And uh, I don't know. That's basically what I do right now. Um, because my job is picking up so much right now, I am doing my best to kind of change the way I make my videos now because it used to be like I can just make a video every day because I've got a little bit of free time. But now there's a lot more work and I'm trying to make more structured videos and hopefully those will be coming out in the next week. And that is where we are today. Even even just saying that though, like you, you say that you're whenever you have free time, you make a video. Like I, I've looked at 
you know, your video section and it's like one every two days. And yeah. considering the, the fact you work, like, I, I can't remember what it is you work as, like if you're a driver or something like that. Yeah, like I drive overnight. It, it's a pretty easy job. It just takes a lot out of you as far as the hours go. Yeah. And then it's a very time consuming job as well. And you, right. you said that you work quite a lot because it was like 72 hours this week so far. Yeah. So it's like you're still able to push out content and be up to date on everything. So it's, you know, it, it's pretty, it's pretty intense. And the fact that you are so dedicated to this, despite everything else. Right. You know, that's very rare because even like for me, just having the ability to pump out one or two videos a week is still tough. Yeah, I might have more structured or, or, you know, much more to edit into the videos and the like, but even then it's like you're pumping out content. And I think that's one of the things that is helping you. Well, thank you. I'm glad somebody noticed. People take notes, please. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but speaking of which, let, let, let's let get into that like a bit more. Um, Like the the types of videos in your upload schedule, it's it's a lot of... Well, I'll let you explain it. Like, the, what are the different, all the different types of videos that you've done in like the past year? Like, just the different uh, variants of them. Oh my god, it's so disorganized right now. Um, well, well I'm, not, I'm not asking you to like organize them. I'm just like listing off like the different types of videos that you have done because there are so many different. Like, they're all within the same subsets. Right. But there are so many different types of those. And see, I think that that's the thing that's like important for people to pick up on because especially in my genre, like there are gamers and then there are people that play games. A lot of us can be considered gamers, but yeah. so many people just play games and they ask the question like, why isn't anybody watching my channel? Well, it's because anybody can just play games. Your dog could just play games and would probably get more views than you, unfortunately. But well, there's a dog. <laughs> right, right. Like there's a dog and he's playing games. What? <laughs> Brilliant. So the uh, the thing that I try to do is uh, you have to find a way to to get more attention than that, than just playing games and just being on the mic or on camera. Um, I have, of course, put out some gameplay. I, I actually do do that as well. But what I try to do is uh, put out more informational videos based on the games that I'm playing on. Uh, so we've got uh, some gameplay videos. We've got information on those games. Uh, I try to do reviews and highlights for games that have either come out or are fixing to come out. Um, of course, we've got the tutorials, like I said. And uh, I, I try to do live streaming, but that's where it really gets complicated because, again, I don't have a whole lot of time. So if I'm live streaming in my free time, then I'm not recording and trying to make a more polished product because I'm using that time to try to stream. So it's it's really, really hard right now, and I'm trying to find what the perfect new balance is because I just got my entire schedule changed this past week. And uh, so it should hopefully try to stay this way, but that means there is going to be a lot more work. So I work need to... Work schedule or like upload schedule? Uh, the work schedule completely okay. screwed up my upload schedule so right. uh, um so i'm trying to figure out here within the next week or so what my new upload schedule is going to be because um i i was putting out like a video on monday tuesday wednesday and then i was doing live streams thursdays and fridays and now with my new job schedule that totally shifted everything so i don't know what i'm going to be doing i know i'm going to be I'm, yeah Sorry about that. I know I'm going to be putting out content, but I don't know what kind of structure it's going to have yet. And that's something that we have to um, adapt to as creators. Um, mm -hmm. Life changes in a heartbeat and it sucks sometimes. And sometimes it's a really good thing. But in my case, it was just like, hey, we have a lot more work here at this job. So we're going to need you here a lot more often. And that completely changes the the. Uh, dynamic that i had between my job and my channel so now my job is taking a higher priority because there's a lot more work so my channel either has to take less of a priority which i don't want or it needs to change and adapt and that's just something that i'm gonna have to figure out here in the next week and that's what people need to do in order to continue to grow whatever it is that they're working on whether it's a gaming channel vlogs uh beauty guru or whatever it is that anybody is working on you just have to be able to adapt 
Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, I definitely think that you're... <laughs> You're one of the more adaptable people that I've I've interacted with over the years, especially considering the fact, like you said earlier, that, you know, you were basically homeless for a time. And then there was, you know, I don't know if you've put it up on the Internet or not, or if you want me to cut this part out. But like with, uh, you know, your your partner going through like an operation and stuff. and Oh, that's online already. Yeah, like I'm very open. And I think that's what or I hope that's what people enjoy about me. I'm an open book like I. uh I don't try to be a character or anything like that. So whenever we are struggling and stuff like that, I've put that out on the internet. And uh, yeah, so like her whole operation thing, uh, for those of you that don't know, my wife almost died if she didn't have an operation. So we had to sell mm -hmm. our house to pay for that operation. Her operation was like $85,000 or something like that. Jesus so, uh, so yeah, like we lost everything, but she had the operation and she's, I'm healthy now, so, which is great. And well, that, uh, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> right. And so it sucks because like we lost everything and we were homeless for a time. And uh, we just, uh, this com uh, this month, actually, we just finished paying off our couch. We have a brand new apartment and we have a bedroom set. We have a, a couch. We have a dining room set. So like we're back at zero, which is a really weird thing to try to tell people. But it makes me so happy that we had everything that we wanted in the world and 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 extra on top of that and then we lost everything like we had nothing and over the past four years unfortunately which is how long it took us to get back to where we are now it took us four years to dig our way out of a hole and get back to zero and we are at zero right now and i could not be happier because i've got my wife she's healthy we have some furniture in our apartment uh, i think in two months, we will have been in this apartment for one full year, and we just now finished getting some of the basic furniture for it. And so, like, people that that complain kind of freak me out sometimes because, like, we've had everything and then some. And again, like, we've never cared about cash. So if we had any extra cash, we would just hand it out. Like, it, it's, I don't know, it's not a big deal to us. So, um, I don't know, we've had all that and we've lost everything. And people that, that, just complain because they're not popular or because they're not getting their way. <laughs> I'm like, dude, it could be so much worse, man. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that's where we are right now. And, uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy to say that we have our furniture, the basic tools that I work with for this channel and nothing else right now. But here in the next couple of months, we'll start getting computer desks and chairs and collectibles and stuff like that again. Well, like like I said, you, like you're a very adaptable man, and you know it, it's one of the things that I admire about you because of the fact that you know you've been through so much crap, and you've had to deal with so much crap, yet you're still here pumping out stuff like stuff that you enjoy doing, and that's not that's a very rare thing these days because most people it beats them into the ground to oblivion, but you just keep on trucking. <laughs> and I don't even know what it is about me aside from like my partner, like my. I have no idea why my wife supports this and, and stuff. Like, I'm not making a whole lot of money. Like, I make, um, and I know you're not supposed to talk about it, blah, blah, blah. But again, I'm very, <laughs> I'm, I'm very honest with people. Um, I only make a couple hundred dollars um, for, for every month um, on the YouTube side of things. But it's, it's something that I would really like to work towards as a full-time thing. Again, because I am so either thick-headed or strong-minded i'm not really sure how you want to consider that but um, both. right 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 <laughs> um so like i enjoy my job but i do not enjoy m like the management and mm -hmm. i don't enjoy the way people that that have a higher position than others sometimes try to hold that over you and i'm the type of person that will let that be known and so i've gotten in trouble a couple of times at certain jobs before and I would absolutely love to do this full time eventually. Like it's, I, I've been doing this for so long and it's still so far away that I'm just now starting to make like some money to, to try to pay for tools and stuff like that. But like the adaptability just comes because like, this is what I'm passionate about. This is what I really mm -hmm. want to do. And even if it never becomes a full time thing, I'm going to continue doing this for the rest of my life because this is what I am 100% absolutely passionate about. Yeah, no, absolutely. 
I mean, like, you are, like, so much ahead than everyone else in terms of, you know, adaptability as well as you've already made money off of this. Right. You know, and and the thing about making money is once you know how to make a single dollar, you know how to make a million. You know, it's it's not that far of a stretch. It's because you know the basic principle of making a single dollar. That's all you need to know. And you've already done that. So, you know, it's just a matter of continuously going forward. You know what I mean? Right. And adaptability serves you in all forms of life, you know? Sorry, I <laughs> I got a, <laughs> a text I was looking at. No, I 100% agree with that. And uh, I don't know. I think it's a thing that people just have to do out of necessity sometimes. And, uh, mm-hmm. and if you can overcome that, because there's a lot of people that will give up. And I 100% understand where that comes from. Like whenever... We yeah. were going through that homeless phase and, and, uh, whenever my wife had her operation, like there could, I don't know, there could have been plenty of times when I was just like, okay, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm just going to get a job like everyone else. I'm going to roll over and just do this for the rest of my life. And I'm just going to work mm-hmm. at this job and I'm just going to clock in and clock out. And that's going to be the end of it. But like, I feel like if you have that drive or that an ambition to not only do better but whenever you do better to do better than that and just continually mm-hmm. keep going after that i feel like uh anybody can be successful and the great thing about today is that we have the internet we have everything that we need at our fingertips to to do whatever it is that we want again there's some weird things out there but <laughs> it, if you're passionate about it there's an audience for you out there and you can turn that into a business or you can turn that into something that helps you get more successful in whatever it is you want to move forward to next. And, uh, there's just so many people that are like, well, it didn't work this time. So it's obviously never going to work. So I'm just going to stop trying. And that's Mm -hmm. not what I tried to do on my channel. I tried to, um, obviously grow my own stuff because that's what I'm working on. But I also just want to encourage everyone else to find what it is that you're passionate about and just do it. And it's going to fail. Like, like, I'm I'm almost 99% sure that that this channel at least in its current form is not going to get me to the success that that I want to be at. But again, the adaptability, the fact that I want to keep pushing towards it and stuff, you can still do it and many people are going to fail and you're going to fail time and time again. Mm-hmm. But each one of those failures teaches you what you need to either change or what to not do in order to do better the next time. And that's just something that you need to keep pushing towards. Yeah, no, like, failure on its own is a bad thing, but learning from your failure, that's success. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, all, all, all these, uh, you know, inspirational fucking emotional things. <laughs> oh, no, don't even get me started on emotion. That's the one <laughs> issue that I've got problems with. I don't know how to be emotional. I well, sometimes that can help you. <laughs> well, I mean, like it does, but at the same time, again, I think that n- me personally not being emotional and then being honest is not the best thing because I can be too honest and people get really offended, and I'm like, I don't understand. This is the truth. So why are you upset? <laughs> and it's just I, I, I get in trouble with my honesty sometimes too. <laughs> yeah, like it's. I have no idea how to explain it. Like so many people are like, all I want is for you to be honest, but then you're honest and you're like, well, I didn't like that. But like, but that's what you asked for. <laughs> so no, I think that's one of the reasons why I kind of clicked with you because like, I know it's a bit of a stupid thing to say because no one's going to believe you, but like, I haven't lied in like four years. I, I honestly, I, I can't lie anymore because right. I've, I've not lied at all. And because of that when people actually ask for my honest opinion they get it the first time around and sometimes they're like oh for fuck's sake why just lie? <laughs> like that's not how i work <laughs> uh, well see that could be a good thing and a bad thing because i actually 100 oh, yeah. percent understand where you're coming from because i have not lied in the longest time either i don't have time for lies i don't have time to keep up yeah. with all the lies and stuff like that however i am very honest with people right so what i always say is that i do not lie because i don't have the time for it i don't want to have to deal with all the emotion but if i ever want to lie i can get away with it because 
I'd never true. do it so That's often true. that people would just <laughs> believe you whenever you do decide to give one little white lie because yeah. you don't put it out there that often. You know what I mean? That, 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 that's very true and very dangerous at the same time. <laughs> yes, 100%. <laughs> it's like, I'm so honest, I'm so honest, but sometimes I lie and no one knows. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, going on from there. <laughs> uh, but no, I definitely agree with you because uh, honesty is like a core fundamental part of me. And I... I think it's more of the fact that I've been lied to so many times that I just don't see the point of it because it helps no one progress. Right. Unless it's like a little white lie that you tell your kid. It's like, no, there isn't a murderer next door. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my God. I think you should move, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I live in Ireland. Nearly everyone is a bloody terrorist. <clears throat> uh, don't sue me. Please. <laughs> I've no money. You won't get anything. <laughs> But uh, no, I definitely agree with you 100% there. But um, like moving on to the, the next thing very quickly here is um, how, how did you make it to where you are in terms of content? Like what's what's driven your like creative process to be like, OK, this is the kind of videos that I want to make now, because like, you know, my you know me, like you've watched uh, many of the things that I've done and I've went this is my third channel. Right. I've went from like doing gaming videos to like news and fucking like uh story time things to vlogs and then went to like full-on gaming and you know reviews and now on to this channel where i'm talking about like social things and interviews and you know just trying to get some truth and common sense out there right you know if someone's asking ask me now what do i actually make it's like videos on common sense that that's basically me in a you know the mindset now so like how how would you personally describe the development of your creation like your creative process to where you are now that's difficult man um <laughs> i <laughs> again just being 100 percent honest um i make content that i want to make i don't care if it's not searchable or seo friendly or anything like that um uh, again just being like around the gaming side of things um, I do my best not to do what everybody else does. Uh, there's so many people that are so weirded out by the fact that they're a brand new channel and they're doing nothing but Fortnite content who don't understand mm -hmm. why they're not getting subscribers or not getting views. And the reason for that is because in any certain genre of game, 80 to 90% of the people watching that game are watching two to three people. And, and of course, mm -hmm. those are the two or three people at the very top. So those other 10% of people that are not watching those huge people, they might watch you, but there's thousands of you out there doing the exact same thing. So I just do my best to stay away from what everyone's doing. I, I get requests day after day after day, every single day to do Fortnite content. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. There's, there's so much of that already out there. Go watch somebody that's doing it. I've, I've seen that on your streams and stuff with people saying, play Apex and play Fortnite. Yeah. And to be honest, um, I actually do like Apex and I will play that with my friends and stuff like that. But I don't try to focus my content around that. Um, mm -hmm. I do my best to make content that I either want to see or to make content that I feel like others would try to benefit from. So, like, if I were to do an Apex video, which is not likely because, again, there's already so many people doing that, I would make an Apex type of video that teaches you how to play with uh, the Bangalore character or the Wraith character or a, a type of video that is actually going to help people out instead of just being like, hey, guys, I'm over here playing Apex Legends. Come look at me because mm -hmm. that's not really going to help out. So the way that I would say that uh, I make my content or or the best way that I, I could describe my channel is that I make I make content that is based around gaming but is more so to help anyone get started making their own content so like mm -hmm. I I absolutely love the gameplay stuff that I do and I will continue to do that but that's more of of the filler content that I'm trying to use to keep people engaged while I'm trying to make videos 
on how to use your blue your blue yeti mic how to set up your obs uh how to like 12 things that you can do really quick on your youtube channel before you even get started just to make your channel a channel that people want to subscribe to so mm -hmm. uh a great example is like whenever i was doing the last channel right i i got the and for this channel as well the banners and the templates and all that different kind of stuff i got from you right thank you i appreciate that guys go and look at those videos they're very helpful and very simple to do <laughs> subtle plug so <laughs> <laughs> um but i mean that's like the most important thing right now um i think in the future i will be able to define my channel better and it will more than likely move into like all the the gear that you need in order to to create your channel or to do your live streams because again in yeah. 20 in 2020 the other uh, brand new consoles are going to be out so of course i'm gonna have tutorials for those but uh hopefully before then i'll be able to have everything that everybody needs in order to start their own youtube channel start their own twitch stream start their own mixer stream and yeah. and hopefully just help people out in that way so that they can get started and then go back to trying to stream and just enjoy the games but like right now i'm in this weird uh middle ground i guess between just enjoying the content and and putting that type of content out there for the games and also yeah. trying to teach people how they can get started with all the programs that are out there like we've got obs we've got restream we've got audacity we've got the editing programs that we use there's so many things out there that people don't consider that go into creating your videos and stuff like that. And that's what yeah, I'm trying there's, to do. There's so, so many different things, like even like Photoshop and GIMP and stuff like that. Cause some of the, some of the things I did, I learned mostly from you as well. Right. So, so, so basically it would be like an edu gaming tutorial kind of thing. edutainment gaming. That's what we're yeah. going to change our, our channel, our channel <laughs> name to. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can't put all the important keywords in there. <laughs> Edutainment gaming with novel addiction, Monday through Friday, sub now. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> if you do, I'm just going to be so disappointed. <laughs> Go, going from there, it would be... Because, like, you have made videos that have garnered the reach of, like, tens of thousands, and some have ten, hundreds of thousands of, like, views. Oh no, so, are we going to talk about this right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's more of uh, like, <laughs> obviously, like, I, I don't want to come across as, oh, this is like, you know, a guy who can make like hundreds of thousands of views videos. But like, most of us have been able to make videos. Well, I say most of us, like most who have been making videos for this long. Right. Have been able to make a video that has reached so many people. But it, it's not that common like for people like yourself to be able to, or myself even, to make videos that have, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of views, which is something you've been able to do regularly over the years. Right. So like, would you feel that, you know, the way that you talked about your channel being just the things that you wanted to create or what you wanted to watch, do you feel like that helped make that kind of leap in terms of viewership and support? Well, first off, let's get the ugly truth out of the way. Um, the ugly <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> truth is that that the majority of my videos are not watched, and that is 100% fine. That is going to happen mm -hmm. to everybody. So anybody yeah. that's hearing this right now or watching this video or whatever it is that you put out of this, the majority of your videos are not going to get watched. There are hundreds of thousands of people making content. There's hundreds of thousands of hours going up every minute onto the yeah. YouTube site. So to be 100%, again, completely honest with you, the majority of my videos get like 30 to 50 views. And the, that is my core audience right there. Mm -hmm. And I love those people. Those are your most important people. Now, yes, I've got 6,000 something subscribers and stuff like that. But those 6,000 subscribers come from search-based stuff. And again, the way that I make my content is I make, um, I try to think about it like this. Like I make one for them and one for me, right? So uh, like the Sarah Dietschy. What's that? Like Sarah Dietschy. She She made a video about a month ago saying that exact thing. 
Oh shit! No, I have not even seen that. You will have to link me to that. So I'll link it to you after. But that's the exact same thing that right. you just said. So that's that's awesome. Then actually, so th- <laughs> and she's probably more popular than I am. So if you guys have a chance, go and check that video out. But uh, I make a video that will entertain my my core audience, which is those thirty to fifty people, and then I make a video for myself. Now, the one video that blew up in November and has so many views and has brought me so much disgust almost is also the same video that has brought me so many subscribers. Um, I made this one video that was for me, right? I wanted to put out a video showing people how to change their PSN name because that is the thing that's coming. Now, I got into the betas because I do my very best and I work hard to be into every beta so I know all the information that's coming out before anybody else does. So I've got uh, all the Xbox betas, the PlayStation betas. I was in the Google Stream project, which is a thing that's coming to Google that will allow you to play games through the internet uh, without really having to have a really strong PC or anything like that. So I... I'm in all these types of betas and stuff like that. So, of course, I was in the PlayStation beta, and I got access to change my name, which nobody has ever had, but everybody has always wanted. So, while I was in the beta, I'm like, hey, I'm going to make this video uh, showing people how they can go ahead and change their name, and whenever this becomes available to everyone, this is the video that they can go ahead and check out. Well, that video instantly went from, like, zero views the day it came out to 500,000 views. And it is currently at somewhere like a little bit over uh, 720,000 views right now, which is great because that uh, paid for my Christmas and stuff. Like that was a good video. (laughs) So that was absolutely great. But again, because people are so uneducated and because people don't take the time to listen to all the videos that I put out, I actually put out a four video series telling you what's going on. This is only a beta. This is how you go ahead and change your name, which is the only video that people watched because that's the only information that they want. And then, hey, this beta is going to be gone, but it's going to be coming back. Well, that one video that I made has 700,000 views now. That's where a lot of my subscribers have come from. And uh, every, every single day, this video is fake. You're a bastard. You fucking asshole. Like, without without ever getting the full context of all the other information that I wanted to make to yeah. to help people out without ever seeing any of that, just seeing the one minute video of like, here's how you do it. You sign in, you go to your settings options, you change your name here, and then you're done. But there's four other videos on top and below that that explain like, this is not for everyone right now, but it will be coming out to everyone. Uh, this is when it should be coming out to everyone. If you guys have any more questions, hit me up. But nobody does that. So, like, it, in my experience, uh, <laughs> the views that, or the videos that I make that get the most views are the videos that I want to make. They're not for anyone in, in specific, but the videos that I want to make are the videos that help, or are supposed to help people out if they pay attention. Yeah. So, um... So it, it's really just the, the videos that actually managed to garner the amount of attention that they did was videos specifically for you. Right. And right. and I mean, that's what I try to encourage everyone to do again, because your fans are going to want certain things from you. But what I like to think, um, and, and I don't know, this might upset some people, but people have no idea what they want and they will <laughs> no, not that's have... True. That's true. Right. <laughs> And they will not know what they want until you give it to them. And if you're giving them the same thing that everybody else has already given them, why would they need to stay subscribed to you when they can go get that somewhere else from a more popular person? So what I just try to do is, uh, is I make videos that I think my audience would be interested in, but that nobody else is doing. And that's where those views come in because people don't think about like, well, maybe somebody doesn't know how to get to this certain section on this uh, this program that will actually show them how to make 4K video, for example. So um, a whole bunch of our TVs and screens are, are beginning to come out in 4K. So if you want to make a good video now onto YouTube, you might want to start putting your videos out in 4K. 
a lot of people don't know how to do that. So I will make a video that's like, you go into your settings, this is what you need to change. This will give you 4K video at 60 frames a second. That is not a video that anybody's going to search for, but whenever people need it, they will search for it. And that's whenever you get your views and that's whenever you get your subscribers. So yeah, no, I, I, I definitely agree with that because like the, the two biggest videos that I've ever created that have gotten that was one for fallout four with the, do you remember that achievement with the, uh, the tickets? No, fallout four. It, it was, uh, it was called the lazy or no, not the late, uh, eye of the eye on the prize. Okay. It was, uh, you had to get like a certain amount of tickets. So I created like this contraption that I saw no one else make a video on and just called it the lazy man's guide to, this <laughs> right and um <clears throat> the the other one was how to change your password in 2017 right and like how to change your youtube password and so so many people asked the stupid questions like oh does that mean i have to change my email password it's like oh, they're kind of connected <laughs> it's your it's your google plus it's your google plus thing so it's your google account so yeah and they're like oh Will you help me? It's like what? what? Yeah. And then that, you yeah. have people who didn't watch the video, right? Asking questions that were described inside in the, the video. video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the way it works, man. And and it's yeah. it's it's such a pain in the butt because you go through all that effort of getting all the information that you need. You do all the research. You literally do all the work for the dumbs that are out there, and yeah. and they don't listen to you like. I don't know. They only hear what they want to hear. And if those yeah. two or three keywords that they're searching for are not in the first 10 seconds of your video, they either won't watch the video or they'll watch it all the way through, but not pay attention to any of it and walk away with no understanding of how to do anything. The, the funny, th the funniest thing about that was that video was like two and a half minutes long. So if they had like 10 seconds more of like attention span, they would have answered their own question. <laughs> And see, that's what I'm saying, too. The, the extra work that we put into it, too. That video that I made that has 700,000 views, it's probably a two-minute long video. And if you just yeah. click one button, if you click the more button where the description's at, it has yeah. links and, and information to literally everything anybody needs. But nobody will take that extra effort to do that. No, I, absolutely. I totally agree with you. And it, it's, so, it's so funny as well because... You know, if, if I'm looking for information and you probably do the exact same thing, if you go on a video looking for information, you listen to the whole video, yeah. you go to the description, you go to the questions to see if anyone else has asked the questions. But for so many people, that's that's irrelevant. Yeah. They want it done in the first 20 seconds, even if it's a 20 minute long video. So it's like, OK, hold on. <laughs> I mean, basically what people want now is is the technology, which is not here yet, but I feel like it's coming because there's a lot of lazy people. Uh, they want the technology to be able to watch a video and just have that video do it for them. And that's yeah. just not where we're at right now, guys. I'm sorry. That'd be a long way away. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just as well we're not back in the days of hunting for deer and kind of thing to survive because they'd be dead. Exactly. <laughs> but like you, you have like answered my, my next two questions basically because it's like, you know, what what are the tips and tricks like that you've followed to get more views and followers and all that stuff when it's just like all you've done is just create videos that you feel are important or will be important in the near future right. or that you think is enjoyable to watch? Uh, if I had any other tips, it would just pretty much just be that. Just make what you guys like. And again, there is an audience out there for everyone. Uh don't be afraid to share your stuff um, and, and try to share it without being one of those people that goes into other people's places and be like, hey, guys, you should come and subscribe to me. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is find communities around the same thing that you're interested in, have conversations with people, build friendships. And then if if one question one day arises to where you have a video on that topic, you can go ahead and say, hey, I've actually already made a video for this if you want to go and check it out. And if you like it, then could you share it for me or something like that? Don't go and spam mm -hmm. your shit all over the place. Try 
to share the right way, but just create what you want to create. And, uh, I mean, I guess that's it for me. Like, that's all I ever do. I, I only make the content that I want to make. I will never force anything out. And uh, hopefully people enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I, I can add to that slightly. Go for it. Um, <clears throat> when, when, like, specifically, because I remember around the time that we first met, I was, like, on a binge of finding different creators just to get them to sub to my channel by creating friendships or commenting on their videos and stuff like that. It was and a that scam, guys. He tricked me into liking <laughs> I'm him. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, like... Even just doing that, I, I went a bit deeper and created friendships. Because, I mean, we've known each other for how many years? Jesus. Forever, I think. Since the beginning yeah. of time. Like, we, we've known each other since I've been dating my partner. Like, that's, yeah. a, that's a pretty long time. Like, almost six years. Yeah. So, it's like... And it was the same with, like, my, my friend I was telling you before, Tim. Because he was actually one of the people that I went to their channels randomly, left a comment on. And then, about a year later... You know, he messaged me back saying, oh, hey, you might not remember me, but you left a, you know, comment on my video. Yeah. And, you know, I was wondering if you're, you know, if you wanted to, to game with me and my friend. I'm like, hey, OK, we I can do that. But I, I was so because I knew what I was like, I was very averse to being friends with other YouTubers because sometimes you can tell right. when they're just trying to use you for views and stuff. Right. So that, that, the one thing I would say to add on top of that, of what you said, is if you're going out and trying to build communities like or have a, a following, treat the other creators with decency and respect and don't treat them as a number. You know, don't just try to use them. And there's so many people that do that, man. It's, it's, yeah. it, it's really upsetting. But uh, I don't know, like... In today's day and age, like everyone's just looking to get a foot up on everyone else. And I find mm -hmm. more more respect and I find that I have better and longer lasting friendships with the people that don't really care about the numbers and just want to help each other out. No, absolutely. And it was it was kind of one of the, the reasons I was kind of concerned about reaching out to you to make this video, because I didn't want it to feel like, oh, it's one of the reasons why I waited so long because I didn't want you to feel like, oh, I'm just using you because you have a bigger following than me kind of thing. Uh, no, nah, we've been friends for a long time, man. It's... I don't know. No, I, think, I, 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 don't know. <laughs> I think out of the, the entire time that you and I have known each other, which has been around six years already, uh, I don't think you've ever asked me for anything, man. So, like, I don't ever worry about that with you or, like, with the people that I work with um, or the people that I keep closest to me, uh, they are the people that, like, I understand that like you're trying to grow your own thing, you're working on your own stuff, mm -hmm. and all the other creators that I do work with are creators that have never uh been Imposed around me. Self upon you. Right, right, right. Like they're people yeah. that are just asking for help and like we're kind of working towards the same goal, which is just being able to do what we love for for a full time thing. And yeah, and absolutely. trying to work towards that and just helping each other along that path not necessarily being like hey i just put out a brand new video go and watch it and then share it and blah 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 blah, blah. like you've never asked me for anything like that this is the first time that I, think, I think i've only ever asked like once or twice but one of them was because i was donating my hair i was like oh hey do you want to share this yeah. and the other time was one of the times that we were in a facebook group there was a guy who's still doing a documentary on his uh, lung condition which i actually got talking to him not so long ago he's still working on it um but i was like oh hey can you share this video because you know it's it's to help support him raise funds to make this documentary on this rare condition that he has yeah um but i i don't i don't think i've asked you for much except for maybe like the the fucking the banner stuff but that was all private you know it wasn't yeah yeah, yeah. like online kind of stuff like oh share my video scrum <laughs> <laughs> no, i think we've had a pretty good relationship man and I appreciate your friendship, so thank you very much. I said it, guys. There's my emotion for the day. Nailed it. You didn't see, but I'm, I'm holding my heart and, and I'm loved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so loved. <clears throat> I mean, you're like you're you're a good guy, like, and I've you've never really asked me for anything either. Like, even in the most trying of times, you've never really just turned around and said, "Here, can you help me with this?" But if it ever has, like, on the times that you have asked me for like 
assistance with like a, a video or, or, you know, like the, the Facebook thing and stuff like that. It was more of me asking to help you. Yeah. It was never like you reaching out instead, you know? And I think it's because I'm, I'm like a stubborn person. Cause like, it, it, <laughs> if it's not like the OCD part of my head or like me just being able to micromanage everything, it's, it's just something that other guests to me, which is why I have not made a discord server yet. I, I do have my small little community and they keep asking mm-hmm. for that. And I do want to give them that, like that's something that I could give to them because they, they help me out. They support me. They watch my videos and stuff. And I do want to have that sense of community. But again, like I, I want it to be perfect. Like I want it to have a spot for them to just go off and talk about whatever they want, but also like help my channel still like promote it and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. it, it's just like the weird stuff that goes on in my head and. I don't even remember where I was going with that, but that's how screwed up my head is because it's just always going off a thousand miles a minute. Perfection is paralysis, mate. Remember that? (laughs) I will have to keep that in mind. I've never heard that, but I like it. And that's the way I feel a lot of the time. It's true. Uh, The the best thing I think you could probably do is just set it up and run it and adjust it as it goes. Because you're always going to want to adjust things. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of, you were saying things about promoting your videos. How how exactly do you promote your videos? Because like I would use like things like Reddit and Twitch and the Discord channel and all that kind of stuff. So how would you particularly share your content? Uh, I think this might be like a nice little tip to give out to people too. Um, I don't share my stuff for the most part. Um, I I think now. Uh, I don't know, like in the past, like I've used Twitter and I've used Facebook and stuff like that. But what I've come to realize what works for me best and and kind of like a tip that I'm trying to flesh out because I am trying to come up with a series on on uh, I'm trying to write a a blog post on, on how to help people out with tips like this. Um, I think that people share a lot of stuff and and. And that's totally fine. Like that is 100% understandable. You're making the content, you're putting your time into it. You want to put it out there. You want people to see it. But my tip for myself, at least, is that uh, not everything you make is great and not everybody wants to see your crap. And again, (laughs) that's just for me, right? That makes sense. (laughs) So what I've been doing- Especially if you're pumping out content every single day. Right, right, right. Like I don't want to be in people's feeds annoying them. And all that type of stuff. So the people that are subscribed to me and have clicked the bell icon and clicked on all notifications, yes, they get all the stuff that I put out. But for Mm -hmm. the most part, I create the content that I want and I just put it up on my channel, which is probably why I only get 30 to 80 views or whatever. But what I do is I do not share any of that. And then whenever I come up with an idea like how to change your PSN name and get 700,000 views on it, I, I come up with an idea that that is the video that I want to make and that I feel is going to help most people out. And those are the videos I share. I share those videos because I think that they're going to assist someone in some way or another. And if those are the only types of videos that I check out, then only people that are looking for that type of content will see those videos. They'll uh, they'll see that I shared it on Twitter, on Facebook, or wherever it is that it is, and they'll find it helpful. And then from there, them on their own will check out the rest of my content, and either they like it or they don't, and they'll subscribe, or they won't. So I think that's the way I've been doing it here the past couple of months. Like, I really don't share my own stuff anymore unless I feel like it's going to benefit someone. Yeah. Which is weird because like a lot of people just want to benefit themselves. And again, I don't care about the money. I don't care about views or subscribers or anything like Mm -hmm. that. So unless I have something that I feel is going to help someone else out, then I really don't share it. The only people that see it are people that are subscribed to me and have the bell icon clicked and stuff like that. No, that that makes a lot of sense actually because you do pump out like sometimes between five and seven videos a week. Yeah. So like, it would do better if it'd be pretty bad. Like if people came to my channel and they're like, bro, can you stop posting every day? I get something new from you. I'm like, sorry, dude. (laughs) Like that's just the way my (laughs) channel works. 
It's like you turn off your phone for a week and then that's how, I'm, or turn off YouTube for a week and you get like seven notifications. Yeah. Yeah. And but I like, don't want to be that guy or anything, you know? Yeah. But no, no, it, it definitely makes a lot of sense. Uh, because if you do make a video like that and it ends up going viral or whatever, you know, you're not wanting notification of every single video, but for the videos that you do want to go everywhere, it, it is the kind of things like, okay, this is the thing that I want everyone to be notified of. Right. And they're much more likely to click on it because they haven't seen a notification from me right. in a while. And then it's, again, it's like, like the... A scarcity thing, yeah. Right, and then again, like the people that are not subscribed to me, like if they find that content interesting, then they themselves will go onto my channel and try to search out some of the other content uh, that I have. And either they'll like my channel and subscribe, or they will come and check out that one video and possibly still subscribe in case I put out any other tutorials like that, but not so much have uh, the bell icon click to get every single video. Yeah, no, absolutely. Huh. Usually it's it's the other way around. People are like, oh, you can share it on these Reddit pages or on Twitter at these specific places and times and stuff like that. It's like, no, just post one that you're proud of. <laughs> and again, I think it's because like I really don't care about the numbers. Like the numbers help yeah. me out. Um, I I find it a lot easier to get free games now that I've got six thousand subscribers, but. I've been getting free games on this channel since I had 80 subscribers. So it is more work, but the only thing that the numbers really do is show something to to companies or show something to people that you want to try to work with. So like- if Yeah, because there's a kind of validity to it in a sense. Right. And, and so, I mean, like you can still get like the free games. Like I'm pretty sure I could have gotten free games at 20 subscribers, but you do have to put more effort into it. But what the numbers yeah. do help with, the views help with, the subscriber count helps with. Whenever you're trying to reach out to a company, they want to see that you've got stuff on your channel. But again, they don't know me. So they might be giving me, and again, this is me being 100% honest with you guys. They might be giving me a game to review or play through, but only 30 to 80 people, my core audience, are going to watch that. But all they see is like, oh, well, this guy has 6,000 subscribers. Let's go ahead and give him whatever he wants, which mm -hmm. is, is helpful to me. But again, I'm not saying I have 6,000 subscribers and they could all potentially watch your game. All I'm saying is like, hey, I really like your game. I would like to try it out. And then they kind of draw assumptions based on those fake numbers that don't really mean anything. Yeah. There, There's definitely... a. I think once you're able to get past the first thousand, you don't really have to worry about numbers as such anymore. Right. Because I mean, the 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 hardest the hardest thing to do is to get over a hundred. Yeah. And then yeah, after that, that, the next big milestone is a thousand. And I do find that people who constantly focus on the numbers focus on the numbers more than the content. Right. And it's it's the content that brings numbers in. So it's kind of like a a paradox in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. But. You know, like like you said, you know, you don't care about the numbers. And I think that will do very well for you because, you know, when you, you think about the numbers, you're not realizing that every single person is a person. Every number is a person. Right. Like if you were sitting in a room with like 30 people, you know, you'd be like, okay, this is a lot of people I'm talking in front of. And I would be so scared because I do stutter <laughs> in public. So like I would be horrified of that. But I mean, here at home and stuff, I have no problem doing that. But... Um, it's, I don't know, like it is, it is 100% a thing that people do not think about. They see, uh, somebody that has 1 million subscribers and they're like, oh man, I'm never going to get there. But dude, try yeah. talking in front of 10 people every day, like in real life, have 10 people inside your house and be like, this is the game that we're going to talk about. It is difficult to do that. And, uh, if you have 10 subscribers, if you have 80 subscribers, or if you have a couple hundred thousand subscribers, it is not important. It's just the fact that you're trying to get your message out there, the people that are listening to you, those are the important people. No, absolutely. And if you have like a core audience as well, that's a hell of a thing because a lot of people don't have that. Like if you have a core audience of like 10 to 50 people even, that's a lot of people to have as a core audience. Yeah. <clears throat> And it's it's not just that, like, 
I think the main issue with creatives in general is they don't have more than one stream of income. Right. So that's why so many people are so focused on numbers because YouTube is their only stream of income. So and and it's the worst the numbers type of stream thing. too because like AdSense, yeah. AdSense does not pay a lot. For those of you that are trying to get started right now, just know that AdSense is nothing compared to the deals you can make on your own, uh, sponsorship deals. Uh, mm -hmm. I always forget the name of it. What is it called whenever you link out to a place? Uh, uh, affiliate of marketing. Affiliate marketing. Thank you very much. Uh, there is so much more money that can be involved in that. And again, like I, I, I don't care about the money. Otherwise, I'd be doing all that stuff right now. And it is something that I'm going to be working towards. But as of right now, all I do is get AdSense and it is like pennies, pennies for every two, three thousand views that you get. And it's is not worth it. So for sure, you, you need to have other sources of income coming in. You need to have other, uh, I mean, like for me right now, I've got my job, of course. So, I mean, that's what pays yeah. the bills. But I am working on trying to get some uh, some partner deals and stuff like that. Hopefully, um, I'll get one of those this year. That's kind of my goal for this year to get one partner deal and then uh see where i can go from there i guess yeah no absolutely like it's <clears throat> that that that's that's an issue that like i'll be making a video on later on this year you know like cuz even outside of youtube people don't take that into consideration and that's why people fall into debt and you know lose their cars and their houses and all that kind of stuff because they don't have something if their job falls through yeah and YouTube isn't a very stable job, if you haven't noticed these days. <laughs> yeah, um, I just, I'm pretty sure more advertisers just pulled out because of that last thing with the... Uh... Yeah, I'm making a video on that, dude. Okay, yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, jeez. I you should see some of his older stuff. I will look forward to that video because uh, I, I've heard of that guy and I've heard some of the stuff that he does, but I'm, I'm like, that's not really the kind of shit that I want to see. So I, I don't know. I've never gone onto his channel or anything like that. Well, let's just put it this way. He's just, the, the controversy just to get this done and out of the way. And then we'll finish the video. Yeah. <clears throat> the controversy that he is in right now is simply, he made a couple of videos live streamed and they went viral. And what he was talking about was pedophilia on YouTube and how it's encouraged like softcore pedophilia with people time stamping on you know, kids in very inappropriate positions yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Um, the controversy surrounding this fellow, though, is on a previous channel that he said he didn't have it existed. He had a video where it was like a joke video where he was going around asking people to be in his adult movie. Uh -huh. And he drove by what appeared to be uh, a schoolgirl. Yeah. <clears throat> an underage schoolgirl and asked her to be a part of that. So it's, and then of course, there's a lot of other parts in his videos that are just wrong on so many levels. <clears throat> so he's a bit of a hypocrite, bit of a hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what's wrong with people today, man. Like it's, I have no idea how to even. I think it was just for that. The, the main reason I think that he was doing it was to get notoriety, to get fame. Yeah. And to be in the news, essentially, because he ended up getting, what was it, Disney to pull out from ads? Yeah. 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 And it's I don't understand so why people worse. want fame. Like, fame sounds like the most horrible thing to me. I just want to be able to make enough to pay my bills and have a little <laughs> bit extra. And all these people want to get famous and be popular. And I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> like, I just want to spend time with my wife. Play some video games, make, hang out with some friends. I mean, technically speaking, we're already technically famous in a sense. Yeah, but but I mean, the kind of famous I, I, that will get yeah. you into hot water like that. Like, I, I want nothing to do with that. <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's actually a perfect segue onto one of the final questions. <laughs> okay. Do you think... It is possible, despite all the changes to YouTube, for anyone to make a name for themselves and to build like the backbone of like multiple streams of income and to build like a career for themselves. 
I 100% believe. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys know this person. Do you know who Kevin Smith is? Uh, I, I think I know the name. Who Do you who, know who, who Jay and Silent Bob are? No. No. Okay. For for any stoners, and not that I'm promoting stoners or anything like that, but oh, Jay- oh, I think I know who he is now. <laughs> okay, he's the quiet dude with the long hair, backwards cap. Yes. No. Yes, from uh, that movie where they're both with Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Uh, Jesus Christ, have I seen that movie? Uh, the two, two two stoners. stoners. It's, it's like, like a, a black, black and white. white. Okay, okay, maybe I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> you might not know who I'm talking about. Okay, so... No, okay. If you have a chance, just look up who Kevin Smith is. Uh, he is my hero. Uh, he is is someone that I actually look up to, which there's not a whole lot of people that I look up to. But um, he essentially just made his career from talking which is really really weird he's got like a million podcasts and stuff like that he is a movie director uh he stars in a lot of his own movies but he has done all these types of different all these different types of movies as well and uh he is like my absolute hero and what he says is the same thing that i kind of try to follow through with which is uh again if you're just passionate about something put yourself out there and i truly believe that anybody can make a name for themselves, hopefully in the right way. Don't go about doing it the wrong way. Don't get famous I, yeah. for the wrong reasons. But uh, I 100% believe that if you're passionate about something and if you're willing to put in the time and work, because don't forget, guys, like this is not like, oh, I like playing video games. I'm just going to do this and have fun all the time. It's not fun all the time. There's a lot of yeah. work that goes into it. And there's like a lot of stuff that, that people don't think about that goes into Mm -hmm. what it is that you want to do. But, but a lot of technical stuff. Right. And, and I mean, that's just on like the internet side of things. Like there's other things that you can do. Mm -hmm. Like you can start your own business off the internet and stuff. Believe it or not, guys, there's other places that exist, but, uh, if you're passionate about something, you are again, more than likely going to fail a couple of times, but if you want to do it, you can absolutely do it. Um, I don't think that I'm famous or have made a name for myself or anything like that, but I have searched my own channel and stuff like that. And it's like the first three pages that pop up and people go to my channel every day. And that is a wonderful feeling. And this is just like the very beginning. Like I haven't even figured out what my actual structure is yet. So like once I, I'm able to figure that out, I'm sure that I can make it grow a lot more. And I, again, just encourage everyone to, to put themselves out there. Like that's the most scary thing. Whenever I first started, I was absolutely yeah. horrified because I stutter and people don't hear that nowadays because I have it more under control, but I 100% will stutter in front of people. And it's the most embarrassing thing. And it, it, it would depress me in the past. And it's just like something that, that is hard to put yourself out there. But if you're willing to do it and if you're passionate about what it is that you're talking about, hopefully, like you guys can hear from me right now, um, if you're that passionate about it, I 100% believe that anybody can get started from zero and move your way up uh, as long as you're willing to put in the work. And again, as long as you're not doing it for the wrong reasons, like that's the one thing that upsets me the most is that a lot of people do it for the fame and for the money and stuff. Do it because... It's something that you love and something that you want to share with others. If if that brings you f- um, some fame and fortune, that's fantastic. But don't do it for those reasons because that's kind of what's wrong with the world today, I feel like. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big reason, that big, big part of it, yeah. Especially how we've uh, encouraged certain activities yes. associated with fame. Yeah, don't do that stuff, guys. Be be good people. <laughs> try, try again. I'm not a, an emotional person, but I've got a heart. Try to live with your heart and shit. Like that sounds weird because I said and shit at the end of it, but that's <laughs> where my emotional cutoff is. So, <laughs> like, just try to be a good person. It's not all that hard. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm trying to have t-shirts made of all the quotes that I do because they are so horrible. Because I'll try to be proving a point. But again, I don't know how to how to fully express myself with feelings and stuff. So you're, you're not at that point where you can formulate it perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> but I will do it uniquely. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's important. You gotta gotta have your uh, your wee brand, you know? <laughs> exactly. Um, well, the last thing I would say to you, or to ask you to say, is if you were to talk to yourself starting out, what would be, like, the the main things that you would say to yourself? Like, if you, if you were to talk to you being, starting as a creator, while these words are coming out real well. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you were to talk to yourself when you're starting out creating, like videos and whatever, what would be some of the things that you would say that you wish you knew then? Now, see, you told me about this before we started this conversation, and I was like, this is probably going to be the hardest question that I have to answer. <laughs> and it 100- like not a good note. <laughs> yeah, like it 100% is. Um, okay, so if I had to give past me advice based on what future me knows. In terms of like creative abilities or just your creative process or whatever it is like something that you feel would help would have helped you back then that you know now even before i got started if i could go back and tell myself one thing it would be to start sooner i i i feel so bad that i started when i did because i started late in the game and uh i I feel like if I would have had just like a two or three year head start from where I had started from, that I would actually be doing a lot better right now. And that's actually uh, advice that I feel like everybody should get if you guys are interested in starting either a gaming channel like I do or just anything that you guys are interested in. If you want to start something, start now. Because I kind of feel like we've already gone over this a couple of times but um you're gonna want things to be perfect before you start and then once you continue doing things you're gonna want them to be great but the thing with with trying to get perfection and trying to plan things out is that life is gonna happen and life Mm -hmm. will wreck your shit and it sucks sometimes but uh things are gonna change and it's never gonna be where you want it to be so just get started and improve because that is way better than trying to get everything 100 percent. and then if one little thing is off you put it off for another day you put it off for another month another year and you never Mm -hmm. actually get started so if you want anything and and the advice that i would have given myself before i started my very first channel was like dude you should have started this channel years ago because (laughs) If I would have started years before I did, I feel like I would have been in a better place right now. So, um, yeah. yeah. So if anybody is thinking about starting anything, start it now and have it be the most cringy, weird, awkward thing that you do and then improve on it because that's the only way you're going to get better. And you're never going to get to that perfect setting to to 100%. You're never going to get there because once you do get to that point, you're going to want it to be better than what it is. And, yeah, you're moving the goalposts. Right. And like I I had wanted to reach a thousand subscribers the first year of, of this channel right now. And I reached twelve hundred. And then the second year I wanted to reach three thousand and uh I I think we only reached two. And so for this year, uh I had wanted to reach four thousand and we're already up to six. And yeah. and so while that's a good thing. Now that I'm at six, I want to keep improving it. So, like, you're never going to get to that point where you're happy because if you're actually passionate about what you're doing, you're always going to want to continue to improve on it and continue to, to do better than what you're currently doing. So, if you guys have a chance to do whatever it is that you guys want, start now, start today, start yesterday if possible. And, uh, yeah, that would be my advice, I think. In other words, Nike, just do it. 
<laughs> no, don't get me involved with that Nike stuff. They're going through some shit right now, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have no affiliation with Nike, guys. Uh-oh. We should just end it right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, where, where can people find you and find your work just to end things off? Uh, you, you guys can find me very simply if you go to Google and just type in noble addiction, all one word, I will be the first three or four pages that pop up. You guys will get everything from YouTube to Facebook, Twitch and Mixer to uh, some of my old posts, um, other sites that I'm not even thinking about, like player.me and Restream and just anywhere and everywhere that you guys can find me, you guys can find me at noble addiction. Nice. See if the SEO worked out for that. I got it on lock, man. I need to know how to do that. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. I still haven't exactly figured out how it works, but it did work with the name that I chose, and I am 100% grateful for it. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, this was this was a weird... like it, It's always weird to talk about yourself, but I appreciate the opportunity, and uh, anybody that listens to this, make sure you guys are subscribing to my good friend and come and check me out and let's all make a wonderful world together emotions I thought, just gonna, I thought you were just gonna leave it at world I'm like, okay let's all make a wonderful world period <laughs> how do we do that <laughs> next big bang